What's up guys, I'm Vortech and welcome back to Mechanica where the sun has set and night has fallen on the area where we're building a brand new base that's requiring a lot of iron. Today I'm coming at you with a really quick tutorial about collecting more iron because I've used quite a bit of it to make this base. What we're gonna do right now is not open that door because I forgot we can't really fit through the door anymore. I'm gonna sleep in my bed. This will trigger the daytime. There we go. And we're going to show you a couple of mining areas that I've set up that I've fully automated to cycle with the day-night cycle. <laughs> so because the power update is here, I thought it'd be time to do a really nice, simple tutorial for you in Mechanica. This is the entire setup, and what it does is really simple. I have an auto miner constantly mining iron and turning it into ingots, but... It doesn't take batteries, it runs off solar power. Now, I could have this running 24 seven if I wanted to because there are, battery, uh, there are batteries we can hook up to this, uh, power banks if you will, and uh, I'm not going to do that because I'm trying to keep this really lean and really cheap for you. And there's no way to automatically fuel the furnace anyway, so I'm gonna need to check on this regardless. So here's what I've done. As you can see, I've simply slapped a solar panel on the side of it, hooked it up to the power, and there we go. Infinitely running auto miner. For the smelter, the way this works is if we go into a programming tool, you'll notice I have one link. It is the furnace to the miner. And if we open up the furnace, that's where I've kept all of my code. So there are a couple of different pieces here. The first one is detecting if the miner has power. And if it does, if true, it turns on the furnace. If it doesn't have power, it turns off. We have a wait timer here. Every 10 seconds, it keeps checking to see, is this auto miner still running? And if it is, it loops the branch to make sure it turns the furnace on or off. This will conserve fuel. So if I don't sleep in time, the furnace isn't gonna run all night when this runs out of power. That's the goal there. The second area here is if we run out of fuel, we can turn the auto miner on and off. Now, because it's hooked up to solar power, there's really no point in this other than keeping entities off your map that don't need to be there. If you let the auto miner keep running and the furnace runs out of fuel, you're going to eventually pile up a whole bunch of rocks here and there's just no good reason to do that. You're gonna have to pick them up yourself and smelt them by hand by dumping everything in there and that's no fun. So that is the entire setup and I actually have another one set up on top of the hill there. I had to do this because I'm building this big base over here and I've gone through most of my iron to build what you saw over there. It, it's, it cost me pretty much everything. And what I've done is the same exact setup up here, which is really nice. So all I need to do is make sure that this has fuel and as long as it has fuel, it takes care of itself. And I'm gonna have to check on it obviously to grab steel from it as well. Uh, so I'm making trips anyway. I might as well conserve fuel in the process. I did another tutorial back in the day where if you wanted, you could save a ton of fuel by having the auto uh, furnace turn off or having the furnace turn off automatically rather. Uh, every time it's waiting for two different ores to fall into the basin here. Now with this setup the way we have it, that isn't possible, at least not the way we did it in the past because the branch is constantly looping and telling it to turn itself back on as long as this has power. So I can't really do it the way we did, and I'll link that video so you guys can see, uh, because I'm also gonna have to run another loop to constantly check to see if there's enough ore in the basin to have this turn on and smelt. So any suggestions you have to make this even more fuel efficient. That's my challenge for you in the comments down below. But I just wanted to share this with you because I'm doing a lot of waiting around, trying to get even more iron to finish our base. I have a lot of plans for that area down there and uh, it's gonna be difficult to do without enough supplies. So I have two of these running and I plan on doing even more very soon and I'll be able to because I'm getting a lot of supplies now, Aha. So. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you in the next one. Catch you later.